To be honest, you don't really learn anything in this course other than learning how much you really hate writing. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery, and I've just finished my second year of electrical engineering at UBC. Of the 11 courses that I took this year, one of these courses was ELEC 281. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything I wish I knew before I took this course, and some survival tips to help you get through it. And just as a disclaimer here, everything mentioned in this video is based on my experience of taking ELEC 281 during the 2023-2024 school year with Professor Estella Chi. And all the information in this video is subject to change in the future, such as grading schemes, assignment and exam formatting, and course content. Lastly, timestamps will be in the description below if you want to reference certain parts of this video again in the future. Alright, so what is ELEC 2A1 all about? This course is all about technical communications, where you'll be doing a lot of writing in the forms of business correspondence, which is basically emails, technical descriptions, memo reports, ethics, and presenting through oral presentations. Depending on your professor and the year, all your assignments will revolve around one main topic. For our section specifically, our topic was about electrical engineering solutions to climate change. Now that we know what the course is about, let's get into how ELEC 281 will be structured for any given week and the materials that you'll need for this course. Each week you will have three hours of lectures to skip, I mean, attend. In these lectures, a few things could happen. The professor may talk about an upcoming assignment for an absurd amount of time. You might do some peer editing of your classmates writing during class. You might be doing an oral presentation on some days, or you might be working with your group on whatever assignment you need to complete at any given time. To be honest, the lectures were very forgettable in this course. Speaking of your groups in this course, you will be randomly put in groups of around four people and half your grade will be based on the assignments that you complete with them. If you're the luckiest person in the world, everyone will contribute equally to all of the assignments, but that's not how life works. No, most of the time, one or two people will end up doing most of the work while the rest of the group won't do anything unless told to. Now let's get into what you're actually going to learn in ELEC 281. To be honest, you don't really learn anything in this course other than learning how much you really hate writing. So I'm pretty much just going to go through the entire course syllabus and talk about the assignments that we had to complete. At the beginning of the course, once you've gone through the preliminary course information, formed your groups, and started learning about some of the concepts of technical communication, you will begin researching for your first group assignment, which will be a short five minute oral presentation on a specific topic that the professor will give you the option to choose. Make sure you choose your topics very wisely because the rest of the work that you will do in this course will be based on this topic that you choose. Building on this, you will then write a research summary with your group about the topic that you just presented on, including references in IEEE citation and a word map. After this point in the course, you will then shift your sights to the big writing assignment that is due at the end of the course, a formal report that dives deep into the topic that you chose. But before that, you will write an informal proposal that requests approval to write your formal report, which will outline what you will write in the formal report and the structure of it. This will bring you to around the point of midterm break, which you will come back from to write your midterm exam right after. In the last stretch of the course, you'll be discussing business letters and technical descriptions, the latter of which will be an assignment for your group to complete. For the technical description, it has to be loosely referenced to your chosen topic and can either be a mechanism description or a process description. Once that assignment is completed, you'll be wrapping up the course by working on your big formal report assignment that is due at the end of the term and doing a 10 minute oral presentation of your research findings. And that's pretty much everything that you're gonna do in ELEC 2A1. There will most likely be multiple small activities that are squeezed in throughout the term, but I just wanted to cover the assignments that you'll be graded on. Speaking of, in terms of the grading scheme for ELEC 2A1, here's the breakdown of everything that you'll be graded on and the weights associated with each item. Starting with your group assignments, your two oral presentations are worth 10% of your overall grade, your research summary is worth 5%, your informal proposal for the formal report is worth 10%, your technical description is worth another 10%, and your revised formal report is worth 15% of your overall grade. In terms of exams, you will have one midterm exam worth 15% of your overall grade and a final exam worth 35%. 
in our year, from talking with people in both sections of ELEC 2A1, we had drastically different exams depending on who was teaching the course. In our section, our midterm exam was a 300 to 400 word memo report about a case study for Canada's use of green energy and the carbon tax, and we had 50 minutes to write it. Our final exam consisted of a 400 to 500 word memo report about a case study for a natural disaster in BC and a 400 to 500 word process description of the bioenergy research and demonstration facility at UBC and we had two and a half hours to write it. By contrast, the other section pretty much only had emails to write for their midterm and their final exam. All right, now onto some survival tips, advice, and miscellaneous things to know before heading into ELEC 281. If you haven't picked up by the tone of my voice and the increased amount of sarcasm in this video, I really didn't like ELEC 2A1. And that was mostly because I really didn't like my professor. Try to avoid her section if you can and register for her Taj Harris section instead. From what I've heard, yes, she is a very dry professor, class will not be engaging, and she will not stand up for you if you have a bad group. But I would have chosen that over Estella's class any day of the week. Regarding your group work, if you're put in a group that happens to have one, two, or even three people that aren't pulling their weight and won't do anything unless being told to, strap yourself in for a fun time as you're gonna need to do a lot of group management if you're gonna do well in this course. First of all, assuming that you want to do well, not slack off, and not get taken advantage of by your lazy group members, try to find the second most diligent person in your group and really try to work well with them. Just having one other person in your group who is keeping up with the task and staying diligent will help so much. But if you do find yourself as the only competent person in your group, you're gonna have to take the leadership role and start assigning tasks to people. What usually ends up happening is that your group members will just do the work, but only if you tell them exactly what to do. For example, let's say there's a group assignment due soon and there are multiple sections of it that you'll need to complete. Your job will be to assign each person certain sections to complete based on how competent you think they will be in completing it. From my experience in the course, as long as everyone knows what they need to do and when they need to do it by, your group won't be as dysfunctional. Yes, you may need to put in a little more effort to proofread your group's work, and you may be the one to submit everything, but you're just gonna have to suck it up and do the work for this course. This course is literally just a means to complete some credits that you need for graduation. And in terms of studying for your exams, I actually don't think I studied for any of the exams for this course because, well, it's a writing course, and I literally have no idea what I'm gonna be writing about during the exam. The most you could really do would be to look at the examples of memory reports, technical descriptions, and emails so that you could understand the format and the writing style, but you can't really do much more than that. Oh, and last thing to note about ELEC 281, prepare to do a lot of peer editing this course. You and your group will be doing a lot of peer editing of the work of other groups by making comments to their Word documents, so be prepared for that. And for those of you who are curious, I scored an 81% in ELEC 2A1 and the class average was 74%. But this will heavily depend on your section, which professor you choose, and how good your group is, as all of those could heavily influence your experience in the course and ultimately your grade. And that's pretty much everything you need to know before heading into ELEC 2A1. I really, really hope this video helps you guys out so you guys don't have to suffer as much as I did in second year. And as a thanks for sticking all the way to the end of the video, I'll let you know that the next course that I'll be covering will be ELEC 291. As always, Gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope this video brought you value, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.